So if you've ever wondered why it is so hard to make positive changes, even when you know they're good for you, here are three neuroscience-backed reasons your brain chooses stagnation over growth. The first is that change costs energy, literally. Creating new neural pathways takes glucose and focus, and your brain is wired for efficiency. So unless the change feels urgent or emotionally rewarding, your brain defaults to doing what it's always done even if it hurts you. The second is that your identity is tied to the old pattern. We don't just repeat habits, we defend them. Because somewhere along the way, your brain decided this is who I am. And anything that threatens that, even when it's something better, feels dangerous. The third is that your brain always chooses familiarity first. Your neural circuits don't care if the pattern is healthy. They only care if it's well used. That's what makes the brain so efficient. So change, even positive change, triggers a warning sign. This is new, this is uncertain, let's pump the brakes. So your brain resists, and not because you're weak, but because it's trained to avoid anything it hasn't seen before and take the easier way out. So when you don't actively change your thinking, your brain will turn every discomfort into danger, every setback into a reason to hide, and every dream into a liability. The problem isn't that you're not trying hard enough. It's that you're too close to the pattern to recognize what's actually causing it. But retraining your brain means being a naturally positive person, feeling good about yourself without the self-criticism, doubt, or sabotage. This is my specialty.